thank you for watching this video. Today I decided I'll do something a little bit different and I'm going to be sharing with you guys how exactly I keep my makeup looking fresh for a number of hours. A lot of you guys have been asking, especially in my vlogs, how do I keep my makeup looking so fresh throughout the day, especially in the heat. I like my makeup to be matte and I like it to look fresh throughout the day without having to top it up or add anything to it basically. First things first, I will say that a lot of these things are just stuff that I have found works for me. I never impose things on people, so if you wish to try these products out, do go ahead and do a lot of your research on it before you decide to purchase. But if you are looking to purchase, all the details are below. Do your research and I definitely say I wouldn't come on camera and recommend these things if I feel like they don't do a good job. So first of all, I do believe that the key to good looking makeup is great skin. So you have to take care of your skin. And one thing I do think is really important is when you put on your makeup, try and make sure you have clean brushes and try and make sure you have clean hands and clean tools. So that is your brushes, your hands, sponges and stuff like that. Do try and make sure you take off your makeup when you are going to bed. I know a lot of my friends who don't do that. And I always tell them that it's really important that you take off your makeup because it can clog your pores, which can lead to bacteria building up, which does lead to blemishes and spots and all kinds of stuff. So it is important to number one, take care of your face when you're putting on your makeup, take care of your face when you don't have any makeup on and take care of your face when you are taking your makeup off or when you take your makeup off. I do have a video on how I take my makeup off. If you just click up here, you can go ahead and watch that video. But without further ado, let's get into it. First product that I absolutely swear by, I know there's a lot of controversy around this product, but I do believe that whatever you find works best for you, you stick to that and you find a way to make it suit your habit. So I'm going to show you first of all Milk of Magnesia. Now a lot of you may know Milk of Magnesia acts as a primer and it is an oil control substance. Once you do put it on your face, I have found that it actually stops any oil. I find that it has helped me for probably the past year or two. I know that people say Milk of Magnesia, it messes up the pH balance of your skin and stuff like that, but I do not use Milk of Magnesia every day. Be very aware of how much you are putting on your skin. I only use Milk of Magnesia on my T-zone because I know that that's where I have oil problems and I make sure that I use it. If I were to wear makeup five times a week, let's say I needed to, I will probably use Milk of Magnesia only twice. So I will gauge how long I'm gonna have my makeup on for and I'll make sure that if it's needed, I will use it. If it's only for about two, three hours, I'll find another alternative, which I will show you guys in a minute. If I know I'm gonna have my makeup on for let's say over eight or 10 hours, then I'm definitely gonna need the Milk of Magnesia because I'm gonna need it to sort of help me throughout the day, especially if it's gonna be a long, hot day like we have in the summertime. So if you do choose to use Milk of Magnesia, I make sure that I, at the end of the day, I make sure I scrub my skin. Now it's important to exfoliate your skin, especially when you use something that's so powerful. It's important to go back to your skin and really scrub everything off and including the milk of magnesia. Try and get into your pores, exfoliate it all the way out. Make sure that none of it is left behind really because that's when you might start to have problems and you might start to break out, especially if your pores remain clogged because of this substance. So I am recommending it as one of my top products to help oily skin during the summer or to help just you looking like a big grease ball, which we don't want. To talk about exfoliating, once you've used this, I like to go in with my Paula's Choice AHA Skin Perfecting Gel. Once I've cleaned off all my makeup and I've cleansed and I've exfoliated, I use this. I find that it has helped my skin so much. It's really evened my skin tone. It's just really helped to sort of bring like a natural glow, especially because I started using it in the winter time and now that it's summertime, I've really noticed that when the sun hits my skin, like it really just glows naturally. This is an exfoliant itself. So I'm basically exfoliating twice. Use my scrub and then I will tone and I'll put several pumps on my hand, rub it together and just rub it all over my skin and I'd go to bed. You can use it in the daytime or you can use it in the nighttime. It's got glycolic acid in it, which is an exfoliant. So it works throughout the period of time that it's on your skin to just gently exfoliate. Be very careful when you use this. If you don't use sunscreen, it can cause your skin to react to the exfoliant. So they do recommend that you use this 
along with uh, a sunscreen of some kind if you are going to be out in the sun but if you're just using it to bed then obviously you don't need to use sunscreen but I will say number one tip for this product is go and do your research do not bank on my information alone because number one mm. I'm not a professional and number two mm. I'm just an ordinary girl from Hackney go and do your research and make sure you research hard and find out what might work for you and moving on to my third favorite products for the summer I will have to say these makeup primer sprays are light and I have to tell you guys they are the bees knees first thing is the Scandinavia makeup primer spray it is a spray that you use on your face before you wear your makeup and the second one is the Scandinavia makeup finishing spray and you use this one when you have finished putting on your makeup and they just work as the perfect couple. When I tell you something is just the perfect couple, these two bad boys are that. So when you guys ask me, how do I keep my makeup looking so fresh throughout the day in my vlogs, this is that and this too. I started using Scandinavia last year and I noticed even when I would first apply the primer spray onto my skin, I would see immediately that my skin was even out and there were no wrinkles, there were no lines and it was just, it would create a great base for my makeup and when I was done with my makeup and I would put a couple sprays of this onto my face you could just feel that the spray was really settling onto your makeup once it would dry it would really bring out the colours of your makeup so I will highly recommend these two as a perfect duo you can get one on the website, it always works out cheaper if you get both because they do give you smaller travel size sprays as well so you can use them when you're, I don't know, going away for weekends instead of having to carry around the bigger size bottles. These two primer spray and this finishing spray from Scandinavia are on my list of must have items to keep your makeup looking fresh throughout the day they do such a great job and last but not least is something that i think should be in everybody's makeup kit or everybody's makeup bag or in everybody's makeup collection somewhere is a neutral powder you can kind of skip having a neutral powder if you have all these other products that i've shown you today but neutral powder is always great when you don't want to have to put more makeup on your face. This is an invisible powder and it leaves no colour and it leaves no odour. This one is by Ben Nye and it looks a bit like baby powder. You just put it onto your skin and on top of your makeup and you blend it in really well and it virtually disappears and it leaves you with a matte looking face. This is a great option. It's good because it doesn't add more product like I said and it just helps control the oil and control the shine as we don't always want to have. Those are all the products that I would sort of recommend for summertime just to keep your face looking nice and matte and oil free. I love my makeup looking matte. Dewy or oily skin is not really for me. That's just a personal preference. If you guys want to check out any of these products, I have left the information of where you can find them in the description box. If you've got any other suggestions that you guys want to let me know about, do leave it in the comment section. I want to know what you guys use or what works for you. If I can answer any of your questions, I will try to do so. So just leave them in the comment section below. I think that's it. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. It was a bit different from what I've been doing recently, but I thought it would be nice to have sort of a sit down and chit chatty one with you guys. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Take care. Bye.